How's it going everybody, Chad Lee here. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look and seeing if Minesweeper is still worth using with Iron Bear. Now, with the latest patch, they kind of nerfed how Minesweeper interacts with Iron Bear before you could seriously one-shot most things in the game. And it was a little insane. And if you threw on like the mini guns, you could just create a bunch of Minesweeper nades and any boss in the game would basically insta-die. It was kind of insane. I have a video on it, so if you guys want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. But otherwise, we're going to see how it is doing today. So right now, I still got like basically the same exact setup as I used in that other video. Skill tree is slightly different, but class mod is the same. And otherwise, let's just see how it does against Trunt. And then we'll switch over to a different class mod to see basically the effect that Minesweeper has over it. Just other than just using like an Iron Bear neutral thing like a blood letter, which is what we're going to switch to. So otherwise, let's go ahead and just jump right over here to Trunt and see how it does. So we're going to wait for him to do his little ice wall and then we're going to aim for our crits, try to get those Minesweeper nades going. And as you can see, he is still alive before he'd be very much dead, but he still dies ridiculously fast. Now, in my opinion, if they were going to nerf this, which in my opinion, it's should but also shouldn't have it didn't really matter too much but i'm not surprised that they did at all and i think they found a very good happy medium it is still incredibly powerful but it's not just an insta one shot using like mini guns so i think overall it's in a great spot but let's go ahead and compare that kill to one with just using like a blood letter so we can see basically what iron bear is doing itself and how much minesweeper is helping us out so now we switch over to this blood letter it's basically going to be neutral. We're going to get a little bit of help out of Desperate Measures because it also had Thin Red Line on it. So our health's a slightly down, but it's barely going to be any sort of boost. So we can just compare how Iron Bear does by itself for the most part compared to the Iron Bear with Minesweeper. And otherwise, we're using the exact same weapons. As you can see, like we still do really good damage, but not quite to the extent. It Minesweeper definitely still helps us out. Now, definitely the biggest hit that Minesweeper and Iron Bear took was two bosses for mobbing. It is still insane. We're going to go test that out up next. But right there, you can see there wasn't a huge difference in the kill times with and without Minesweeper. So for the most part on bossing, it's not going to be like your go to. You're definitely going to get something better like a Raging Bear. So definitely, if you want to kill things with Iron Bear, use Raging Bear. Minesweeper is not really the best option for bossing right now but for mobbing it still works fantastic let's go ahead and check that out so now we're back with the minesweeper class mod on and let's just see how we do against mobs now when we get one of these to pop it still does like a solid chunk of damage it's not an instant one shot like it was before unfortunately but it is really nice for taking out tight groups of enemies so like if you're running the malawan takedown where there's just a lot of enemies all the time this class mod still works great but like I said, you are going to get more damage out of just doing like a Raging Bear class mod. So Minesweeper is no longer the best Iron Bear class mod, which it shouldn't be. It should be the class mod focused around Iron Bear. So it makes perfect sense to me. And it's overall a good change. It definitely feels a lot more balanced, which is perfectly fine in my book. And then for one final little comparison of what it was before to now, I will show a clip of what this used to do to Grave Ward. This was in our previous video. So I'm just gonna start shooting as we fall down so we get that ramped up speed and damage. And then I'm just going to aim for those crits and he's immediately gone. So as you can see, you could basically insta-kill Grave Ward, which was a little broken at times. And now we're gonna go ahead and jump in with basically the same setup and see how it does now. So let's go ahead and drop down and I'm gonna start shooting and trying to hit those Minesweeper nades, get them going as quick as possible. And as you can see, he is very much still alive. We'll get some more shots here after the stage tilt and it still does pretty decent damage, but obviously it is nothing even close to what it was before. So there is just the definitive proof that if you want to be killing things with Iron Bear, just go ahead and use Raging Bear. Don't be using Minesweeper for it anymore, but it is still a viable option if you are running a Minesweeper build. Just don't focus around Iron Bear anymore and you guys will be good to go. But yeah guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If this made it a little bit more clear what the difference is 
between before and after this change and also how it compares to kind of just Iron Bear by itself. Definitely leave a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Borderlands content. Also, we stream every single night over on Twitch. So definitely would love to see more of you guys over there. But have a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.